ready. AV, AV week. Performing scan. Week. Online. This is AV week. This is AV Week, your weekly wrap-up of audiovisual news and information. My name is Tim Albright. I'm your host, live from Cedia 2014. 20, I, I only 20, 20, 20, 20 something. Uh, In the uh, We are uh, at the uh, Cedia <laughs> booth. Uh, if you're not watching this live, so you can't come by the booth. But uh, if you could, you know, thanks for coming by. Uh, with us is the fabulous. Jeff Singer from the Crestron. How are you, sir? I am fabulous, just as you say. Yes. One thing I like about Jeff Singer at trade shows is that his, his voice gets this rasp and it sounds really sexy. <laughs> just, sorry. Hold on. Hey, what? Pardon what show are we recording? Yeah. No, be quiet. Uh, that guy right there is Matt D. Scott. He just wrote me a note that says he's amazing. I am. He's also my token Canadian. Woohoo! Token! So. Oh, I didn't know that. Yes, he's my token Canadian. I oh, you weren't supposed I to tell him. I might have to rethink this whole thing. No, yeah. don't tell him. No. All things I mean, he's not the best Canadian. The best Canadian is Brock no. McGinnis. I'm a terrible so, Canadian. Yeah. Um, yeah, I know. Yeah. Uh, and last hey. but not least, Rich Fergoza. Holy cow, the two of us in the same body space. <laughs> For the first, <laughs> for the first time, time in three ever. years. <laughs> although, although, shout out to High Five Phil Cordell Absolutely. for this one. I Actually, part of my writer and part of my contract was that I was supposed to get intro music when I showed up physically on the I'm, I'm still waiting for that. He hasn't emailed that. <laughs> I want my own walk-up yeah, music he, when, <laughs> I now, when I appear. I just got to get my own theme. I'm certain he's working on it as we <laughs> as we speak. <laughs> Phil's not here, though, this year. The Uncle Richie Shuffle yeah. coming at you, 2015. Um, he, had, uh, he had a previous <laughs> game, but that, this would normally be one of the shows that he would go oh, to. Oh, definitely. Right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, all right, so let's 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 kind of wrap this uh, wrap this around. This is, is we're kind of do this in the same vein that we do the Infocom show, a round robin, get you guys your your thoughts, and then get some some fresh uh, per perspective in here. Jeff, we'll start with you. Uh, a couple things that came if you're watching uh, on social media or watching the Crestron website. Two things really cool. Um, ping, uh, which you guys have been kind of uh, teasing for the last month or so, um, and and pinpoint, uh, which I, I I found out about yesterday, which I think is, is kind of cool. It's also not ultra uh, residential, but it, it, that's kind of where it's geared for. Uh, first, let's talk about Ping. This is an yep. app-based configuration software, right? Yeah, so uh, what Crest Run Ping is, is, it is an app, as you say, and the, there's a few really cool things about it. Uh, first of all, for the first time, integrators can really set up the whole home automation system uh, that includes lights, shades, thermostats, door locks, and uh, security system. Um, right from the app. You never have to touch a laptop. There's no software. Um, you can do all of your, um, all of your lifestyle scenes, uh, all of your scheduled events, uh, everything right from the app. Uh, there's no configuration, um, no compiling, no uploading. It's all done in real time right from your iPad. Um, the other cool things about it are, uh, well actually, uh, while, you're, while you're setting it up, you can actually do the uh, keypad layouts, the button layouts of your yeah. keypad. You can label those, um, the, the buttons, and actually order those custom engravings, again, all right from that same app. Um, and then everything's backed up in the cloud, so you never lose anything. Um, we can do, uh, you can log um, all the events, so you can see um, if devices are online or offline. You can um, also uh, track and log all the button presses. Um, and even then the homeowner, after you turn everything over, the homeowner um, has the opportunity to, uh, they can rename scenes if they want, they can modify scenes if they want, they can create their own scenes if they want. Um, so that's, it really empowers the homeowner and then they can't screw it up. Again, it's all cloud bait. Um, it's all backed up in the cloud. So they start screwing with it and they say, oh no, geez, that's not what I wanted at all. I think I broke it. Uh, no, you didn't. Just go recall well, it. And the other thing that, that the, the, the cloud backup does is it alleviates some of the tension between uh, traditional programmers, uh, let's call them old school. Uh, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't adhere to this school, but the idea that because you're a programmer, you own the code, right? So I'm not going to give that, that uncompiled code to the homeowner because they, you know, this is mine. You do it this way, it's backed up in the cloud, they sell their house, no big deal. That's right, that, that whole question, that whole issue really goes away um, in terms of uh, ping. Yeah. Um, and you know, the idea is you know, that we want, the simple things should be simple. You know, uh, the highly repeatable things should be easy to do. 
Um, you know, you make lights go on and you make lights go off. You know, shades go up, shades go down. I mean, it's it, that shouldn't take up a lot of time or be very difficult to do. That then frees up your um, more experienced uh, programmers to focus on the custom stuff. And there's always custom stuff. Yeah. That's what we do, right? It's the custom uh, electronic design installation association, right? So we're doing custom, and they can really put um, a lot of their time and effort um, into doing the one-offs, the sophisticated thing, the complicated thing, uh, the custom thing. All right, very good. Uh, Mr. Scott. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, did I put you to he, sleep? He, no, yeah, no, 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 it was you very still with entertaining. Me? Are you oh, with me? I loved it. He was, ordering a, he was ordering a ping, actually, oh, yes, from his exactly. dealer. From I want to ping dealer. everywhere. <laughs> what uh, what what have you later. what have you gotten from this show besides really you know happen. awesome are you paying attention uh, at all completely what have I gotten from the show and then you stopped yes that's all you had yes what oh. that's, a, that's a question perfect what have I got from the show you know this show is always entertaining going to Infocom previous to this you do see a lot of spillover mm -hmm. which is always fun uh, but as far as this show you know the big thing I've seen so far has been some of the laser projection. It has been phenomenal. And when you look at the fact that, you know, previously you'd look at a projector and it's going to have an X amount of, uh, you know, bulb lifespan with the the laser products, you can run those all day long. Instant on, instant off. You can do whatever you want with it. Uh, so that has been really fun. And there's been a lot more manufacturers this year that have those products, which, you know, previously has been one or two. Uh, the other thing I sat in was the JBL Synthesis demo, mm -hmm. which is a full-on commercial grade theater, Atmos theater uh, demo. Absolutely phenomenal. Wow. Blew my mind. And I kind of snuck into it, which makes me even <laughs> happier about it. You have a you have a tendency to do that. I do, yeah. I do. You but slipped across the border. What, the one, thing, one thing that manufacturers need to know about Matt Scott is he doesn't make appointments, so. No, I don't. I may, well, no, no, I don't. I mean, you made an appointment with me. I did. But you, you were almost late. No, no, I was Almost? On time. I was one minute early. Yes. That's Would more than enough. That's more than enough. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Fergosa, uh, <laughs> th this is, this actually, this is both of you guys' wheelhouse. Um, it's been interesting for me, as coming from the, the commercial side, is, is seeing this. I, I was talking with Olivia Selke from Cedia. I said, this feels to me um, like a, a condensed version of Infocom with some uber residential things, right? You've got... TiVo here, right, which, which surprised right. me. You've got, you've got Dish Network, both of which are, are sponsors of this event. Uh, you've got Onkyo, you've got a, a, some other number, you get URC. Um, what are you taking away from this from this show, you know, a day and a half in? Well, I, I think the, the key first is what I'm taking away more than anything else is just kind of the feel of the crowd. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, if you showed up at Acedia circa 2008, um, it was a very different feel at that point. It How was so? Was it? Well, what, was it right, right as, and again, residential is going to be tied to the housing market. Exactly. And so when the economic meltdown hit, that was a period of time where there were a lot of dealers who had, hadn't experienced that before. We, being in the Silicon Valley, I had the dot bomb in 2000, <laughs> yeah. 2001. So that was kind of our first wave of trying to learn how to get through it. So when we saw 2008 hit, we... we it wasn't that we were exactly prepared, but we were more durable <laughs> at that point. We had already we already had the battle scars from that period of time, and so 2008, for probably a good two, almost three year period, there was that that period of time that, especially in the residential market and with the integrators, there was a lot of concern and there was a lot of fear, and guys were wondering, you know, even manufacturers at the same point, it's like, well, do we come out with product? Do we come with higher end product? Do we, you know, how are we going to address this? And I think last year I saw. It was a much more significantly upbeat show than it had been in 2012. And then this year's show is again kind of that next step so that when I'm speaking with integrators or even manufacturers, you know, the, the response isn't necessarily that false. We're doing fantastic, everything's great. You know, we're, it, it, it's a genuine, things are getting better. Yeah. You know, they're feeling more positive about being able to approach the market and, and, and thrive again in the market from lessons learned that they actually had to get more serious about running their businesses. So obviously this is a technology showcase, but the purpose of CD has always been, you know, it, we're a, you know, we're, we're a fraternity in, yeah. a, in a sense, and that this is an opportunity for everybody to come together and to learn that collaboration is where our industry is going to go. And I'm seeing more and more that you know these integrators are looking and sharing information and not feeling like they have the secret sauce that and they that's have to hold key, on man. to. Um, and, and 
you know, in seeing it, it around here. So for the biggest thing that I got was that there was a lightness to the show that okay. I hadn't felt in a mm. couple of years. Um, and then, you know, from the technology showcase, there's always somebody coming out with something cool. There's always a little widget. There's always, you know, the big powerhouses. I mean, there's, you're going to have your standards that, you know, it's always a matter of this is the best time to get all your dealers together at once walk them through the process, and residential is a different animal than commercial. Um, and although we share a lot of the same technology, the deployment is far different. Mm, when yeah. you're dealing with a homeowner or a homeowner's representative, it's far different than dealing with the budget team in a, in a commercial application, you know, or the facilities manager. And um, so what we're seeing, especially, you know, and I, I did the back row, and, I, and rookie row is uh, something that's really great that I that's like now. Neat, yeah. It's it's the opportunity for people who are trying to figure it out. It's kind of like that CES feel where you get the you get shoved way in the North Hall, you know, with like the electronic cigarette dispenser and an AV system, you know. Um, rookie row is a, is a chance for some. <laughs> it's true. I've seen it. <laughs> okay, so let me ask you guys this, and this is for, for any of the three of you. How do you how do you get ready for Cedia? I mean, is it because obviously this is a different show, right? I went shopping. You went shopping. That's how you. I get bought a suit, and purple socks. Or did you already no, own no, those? No, I already own those. You already own those. Oh okay. yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't know these wearing those today. No, no he's got the polka dots. Yeah. yeah, I got the polka yeah. dots and the felt shoes. Yeah. It's a um, good day. But uh, but how do you get ready for this? I mean, Jeff, we'll start with you on this from a manufacturer standpoint. It's it's a different show. Um, your booth is different, not much, but it is different than it was at Infocom. Right. I'm assuming that was different than it was at ISC. You still have the big giant 4K, uh, 4K display uh, from Silicon Graphics. So, you know, besides that, you know, what what else? What different do you do, or is it nothing? Well, I mean, obviously by now, you know, we have a process we go through, yeah. um, and that that really doesn't change from from year to year, um, and. Obviously, we did have a, 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 a large booth at Infocom. We start with that, um, and then and it's funny because we always have this great big booth at Infocom, and it, it, we always say, "Wow, that was a great successful show. Let's just do that again at Cedia." But again, to you know, um, you know, some of the points that were made earlier, you know, you say, "Okay, let's do exactly that," and then you say, "Okay, but." this isn't for Resi, and that's not for Resi, <laughs> and well, that's got to change. And, and then you start looking at, you know, so you start, so immediately you throw half the booth out. Yeah. Um, and then uh, we're looking at what we're doing in engineering, obviously. Um, getting ready for Cedia is, you know, that's something that you never stop doing. You know, there's always product development, there's always, um, you know, up, updating and upgrading and coming out with the new next wonderful thing. And so you look on your, you look on your, uh, your, Roadmap and said, "Okay, you know what are what's coming out new? You know what's what's what are we ready to roll out? What's what's ready for prime time? Yeah. And um, you know you start looking at that and then said, "Okay, we need a place for that in the booth." And then it's kind of like that retail mentality. You know what's got to be at the front, and then what's the logical next thing? If you buy into that, then you know what's the what's the next thing that you're going to want to attach to that? Um, and you know you try to come up with a flow and, and tell a story and a flow that makes sense." Uh, to uh, to the integrator, and obviously this year, you know, as you mentioned, you know, ping was going to be. We knew that was going to be front and center. Yeah. Um, you know, 4K is obviously something that um, we're uh, that we're putting out front and center. We had that at Infocom as well, um, and uh, you mentioned pinpoint earlier. You know, and a bunch of other things. So, um, and the silicon core wall. I mean, look, if they're going to give us a 260 inch 4K. <laughs> You know, video wall to be able to put eye candy up there and 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 advertise and promote. Well, then who are we to say no? I I, I agree with you 100. percent And every time <laughs> they ask you to do that, I think you should say yes because the last two shows that we've been at together, we've used it. So <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you very so much. If somebody asks if you're a god, you, you say, say yes. <laughs> oh, take it, Mr. Fergosa. How do you uh, how do you prepare for this show besides getting sleep? Yeah. First, shamelessly, you know, I, I first log on to CEPro.com. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? <laughs> <laughs> I have <to> plug. <laughs> nice plug. Why would you go that, there? That's <laughs> better than your. You've never. You haven't even plugged. You know. You know what? I'm not a same shameless plugger. <laughs> what? No. <laughs> I'm not about self promotion. That's not me. So how? Do anyway, you go <laughs> <laughs> you go, you go, I'm gonna. With that in mind, <laughs> Crestron.com. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Slash ping. Ben, ben, ben says thank you. Uh, we can ping. Everywhere. You know, you can part ping part part one is really again. It's oh that my. I mean, it, with Expo, Expo's Expo's not Infocom. Yes. You know, so you can do Expo in a day or two. 
you know, Infocom day one, you feel like, you know, it's, oh, there's only 200,000 square feet more to do tomorrow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, I mean, you're entering zip codes when you go back and forth. Um, step one, and, and in all seriousness, Cedia does a fantastic job of preparing either new um, attendees. We actually have a kind of a new attendee welcoming, a kind of a primer, and yep. here's how to do the show. Um, you start with the resources that are available here. Manufacturers put all out, out of their stuff, you know. The good news is you kind of sign up for this stuff and it starts hitting first. And, and really my way is I, I start with the map. I kind of tick off the places that I need to start my day with. And then I gave myself a little bit of time to just see what's there. And more importantly, meet who's there. And, and I think that we lose that a lot of the time when we're dealing with the trade show is that we're so focused on the stuff, yeah. the banners. It's still, you know, it, it, it's still Jeff, it's still, you know, Matt, and it's all of these people, and sometimes we forget that part. Well, it's exactly not Matt so much. No, no. Matt. Um, but I get your point. Yeah, and, and, and it's, it's the opportunity more than anything else for me is to connect with people I haven't seen in a while, mm. or new people, and, and, you know, especially about my business model, it's mine is about working with integrators yeah. and, and helping them transition from starting out to a one or two guy group and, and the process to grow and, and how to hopefully thrive in the industry. And so um, part of what you learn as you're in this a little bit longer is that the biggest key is not the spec sheet that you're reading, but the relationship that you form with the people in those companies. And so I start with who are the best people to talk to and then I work my way out and find out who are the people I should be meeting, who should I get to know and, and start my way through, and then I log on to cdpro.com or ResiSys. Nice, <laughs> yes. Good plug, good plug. You know, the one thing that um, you, know, you alluded to, but we haven't actually come out and um, explicitly talked about with regard to Cedia is the training. And I think that's also another really big part of it. And that's something, again, that um, you, know, you ask about our process, and that starts a year ahead of time because we start to think about you know, what, what, what might we be able to contribute and um, you know, we're submitting, and a lot of people probably don't know that this goes on in the background, you know, manufacturers and other industry experts are submitting um, ideas for training classes a, a year in advance. Yeah. And then um, CD goes through a process of um, evaluating those and choosing what courses um, they want to offer and who's going to present them. Um, and uh, you know, training training's a big part of it and we put a lot of um, effort into that as well. Uh, both industry and manufacturing training. All right, guys, as we, as we kind of wrap up here, and we'll, we'll start with you, Mr. Scott. Oh, thanks. Um, what's, what's the one thing you're going to take away from this, from this expo? Ooh, thanks for just dumping that one on me. <laughs> you grimace in pain. Well, I have an answer for that, but it's <laughs> not for the airwaves. No, it's not. <laughs> no, we don't want to talk about that. We talked does, about does not talking never about mind, this. Never mind. Stop it. Yes. <laughs> uh, probably the biggest thing I'll take totally away is careful. that it, the show continues to be, in all honesty, a, a, at least for me, less about the products, because the products change so quickly. There's products that I expected to see here from last year that are already obsolete, already disappeared, and not even part of a foundational move into another piece. They're just um, gone. Yeah, they're just gone. And I'm sure a lot of the stuff that we've seen even this year will be gone by Christmas, because something else will have replaced it. Um, so probably my biggest takeaway is the uh, the amount that we've been able to you know interface and really develop relationships with people in in the business and in the industry and you know people do have a tendency to move around but as long as they're still in the industry you still have that 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 point to point contact and you know I'd always much rather go and you know come away from a show going you know what I spent some time with some amazing people I hopefully met some new people and you know they were the highlight of that show for me uh, Mr. Fergoza, what's what's one of the things you're going to take away? Um, well, you know, I mean, I, I've written about it a couple of times. I took a 10-year break, you know, from in between CDs. I, I, I came back to my CD back in 2010 and, and been through, and I think the biggest thing that I've taken away from it more than anything else is that how important it is to make the effort to be here. Um, it's one time a year, and especially for integrate, again, commercial, it, it, speaking in the resi market, you tend to have smaller companies to begin with. And these smaller companies find themselves on an island without meaning to. It's just, they get caught up in the, I've got to do the work, I've got to do the job. And there's this grind that occurs that they don't, they lose sight sometimes of the bigger picture of being part of a trade organization. And yeah. By being here, you, you get that opportunity to, op to, to obviously learn and, and meet people, and the trainings, absolutely. Um, 
being able to get hands-on with equipment that you know, you're going to get from a web page or something else, that's great, but actual hands-on, meet the engineers who are behind the product, meet the principles of the company. But more than anything else, like, kind of recharge your batteries and figure out why you're doing this. Because over the course of a year, two years, three years, you get in that grind of you know, the next job and the pressures and the stress and, and you sort of, I, I know I did, I lost yeah. my joy in what I did. And when I came back, I found that it was a way for me to rejuvenate myself to be able to meet younger integrators, to be able to meet newer companies, newer manufacturers, people who are genuinely excited to be here. And for somebody who was a little jaded at that period of time, it was like, you know, th this is what I needed as a businessman to come in and kind of refocus on what am I doing? And, and it's a great time for an assessment. You know, what am I good at? What am I not good at? Yeah. What do I carry? What don't I carry? And anything from the business of doing business to the marketing to the engineering side. I mean, everybody who comes here, chances are they're really good or really passionate about the technical side. The important part that I'm really trying to push these days is now it's time for you to learn and focus on running your business. You need to focus. We're maturing at a point as an industry yeah. that, I mean, I loved it when it was the Wild West. It was like, you know, hey man, we're going to put a band together, you know? It's just like, people would come out and was like, can you do this? We're like, we don't know, but it'll be cool if we do, you know? And we'd go back in our labs and we'd just invent stuff. Um, we're not in that place anymore necessarily. It's not that kind of Wild West feel. And so, although that was a great time then, it was a different time then, and so the times now are, there's opportunities here for you to actually not only survive as a business, but, but grow as a business, and um, you know, it's, I think it's definitely a reason to be here. All right, All right Mr. Singer, well, you, you've got the last word on this real quick. Uh, what are you taking away? Well, it's really exciting to, you know, again, it, does, it comes to the interpersonal relationship, so, right, we're talking to dealers, and we get, it's, it's of course fun to get the positive reaction where you've worked so hard on a, you know, in a lab or an engineering, you know, R&D department or, or, or wherever, you know, and, and then you take it out into the world, you know, it's like giving birth, you know? And, uh, I mean, not exactly. Thank God Mazel I don't have to do that. I was going to say. Mazel tov. Mazel tov. <laughs> you know, at least, uh, at, least you don't, at least you don't have to do that. Um, but in a way, you know, then you get the reaction. It's always nice to be able to get the positive reaction, but it's also nice, you know, to be able to learn. Right, so you start talking with the integrators, you start talking to the programmers, you start getting some fresh ideas and fresh perspectives because you know maybe you're a little close to it and you've been, you know, looking at it so closely for a while. So again, you know, just that that kind of feedback, that kind of um, reaction, and be able to take something back to the office, back to the to the lab, and be better. Um, and then, you know, again, we have partners. Again, you talk about being part of something larger. Um, again, being uh, in, in a you know, an, an integrator, you know, where everything, we're working and partnering with lots of other manufacturers um, and to be able to collaborate and work with them and, hey, what are you doing and how do we make this better for you and how do we work better or differently together and um, it's, uh, it's, it's fun and exciting. It's right. exhausting, of course. Yeah, it is, but it, it, it's fun, so. Yeah. All right, I, I thank you guys very much for, for taking some time out. Right. I thank appreciate you. it, have a good show. Yep. I'll see All you right. guys after a while. Uh, with us right now is Mr. Steve Greenblatt, uh, the, the better half of our podcast called State of Control. How are you, sir? All right, how about you? Good, how's your show so far? It's been great, uh, you know, a lot of traffic. I think that there's a, you know, a, a different crowd than what we're used to in the commercial side, but uh, it's still a lot to learn from and, and uh, the, the technology is, uh, you know, a lot to see in the booths and uh, good meetings. And, uh, it, it's not as overwhelming as Infocom, yeah. so it's, uh, and it's, it's a good show to be at. I, I don't know if I've ever asked you this while we were recording. I'm going to ask sure. you now. Sure. Um, you and I are both independent programmers, right? This is what we do. Mm -hmm. uh, you run control concepts. That's what you, your full-time job is. Sure. Why do you come to CDO? So our company is looking at uh, trying to expand in, in different, uh, di different types of markets. So we, we are not <coughs> looking to do projects on the residential side, but we're looking to work with manufacturers on the residential side and also try to marry the manufacturers with different control pl platforms. So this is a good opportunity for that. There's a little bit more variety. Uh, the, the devices seem to be a little bit more complex, so they have needs for modules and drivers and things that make life easier for programmers and yeah. also eliminate some of the barriers to integration for the manufacturers. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Uh, also with us is Ms. Becky Villarreal. How are you, ma'am? I'm great, how are you? Good, she's from Middle Atlantic. Um, here at CDA, at CDA you're, you're under the, the big Legrand 
uh, booth, so it's you with, with everybody else from the brand, right? That's right, that's uh, Vantage and OnQ and Nuvo. All right. yes. And she's also one of the more popular uh, booths this, this week at Cedia. <laughs> Beer and food will they do have that. Very, very <laughs> uh, local, local brews and and good beer, uh, good pizza and, and uh, hot dogs. So. Hot dogs, pretzels, and giveaways, kegerators, and big green eggs. You really can't go wrong. I saw that. I, 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 did, I missed the, the big green egg uh, giveaway. I didn't realize that. We'll work on it for uh, you. Uh, whoa. <laughs> uh, and also with us is Mike uh, Restrepo. Is that, did I say that right? Restrepo. Restrepo uh, from Immersive Technologies. How are you? Very good, very good. Thank you very much. You're an integrator out of New Jersey, is that right? Yes, we are. Yes, okay. we are. We are a Crestron specialist. And uh, we love coming to Cedia. This is a great opportunity to kind of meet everybody, other programmers, you know, even across the table. And uh, it's a great opportunity, just a lot of product. And as he said, just to network with a lot of manufacturers, you know, I'm in the same boat where we're just here programming and trying to find how to make things easier for other people and really push the envelope. Because we're, we're almost like the front lines. Yeah. If we can't make the software right, how are we going to expect the rest of it to work? Exactly. All right, Becky, from your guys' standpoint from Middle Atlantic, you and I talked about um, at Infocom, it was a big, successful show for you guys, lots of traffic. How has this show been for you? Uh, it's just about the same. Uh, there's there have been a ton of people coming through, and you know the nice thing is it, there's there's a bigger story for us with our sister companies in the booth with us. So uh, it's really great to be able to tell that that bigger picture infrastructure and you know automation story. So right. it's been good. But uh, by the way, I don't know if you did this on purpose, but you're surrounded by New Jersey right now. <laughs> hey. Oh, for Pete's sake, <laughs> McKinney, you're fired. Yeah. My producer's fired for this. Uh, <laughs> I didn't do that on purpose, but that's okay. You're welcome. I like you. <laughs> the other two. I don't know about, but nice. hey. uh, um, you and I, actually speaking of, of you guys having a busy booth, you and I tried to do a, a video shoot yesterday. We finally got it done, but that was the, the, neat, the neat problem to have, right? Uh, we're trying to work around all, of, all the folks. Uh, but you had a couple of uh, really cool products that you wanted to, wanted to show. One was um, this very quick, very fast um, uh, rack to, to build and, and put up in like five minutes, I think you said. Uh, it's yeah. You can assemble it in probably under five minutes. Yeah. yeah. And the other thing is something that debuts next month, yes. which is October. Uh, yeah, October, um, which is your new uh, your new rack building software that's on the on the website. Yeah, it's going to be mid October. It's a brand new configuration tool, but it's it's that and so much more. So it's really trying to just expand the customer service experience to um, to go from you know uh, picking the right products to setting up your 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 rack system or your furniture system the right way to um, just you know having an easy way of finding the uh, product specs and videos right in one place, and then hit and go, you know, for our Middle Atlantic dealers, you can just hit go and, and order directly from the tool too. The live chat component on there too, which a lot of people are finding uh, a nice thing in case they have some questions along the way. So and the live chat is eight in the morning to eight at night, Eastern, Eastern time. yeah. Just when our, our, our customer support is available, same hours, so that's when we have our chat. So yeah, we're going to be live next month and we're really, really excited about it. It's been a, a long time coming. So. Yeah, it's, it's, it, if you get a chance, go to the, our, our YouTube page because we have a, a video up, up, up on it now and, and very good, very good demo uh, of it. Uh, Chris, it, uh, not, uh, Mike, not, not why do you come, but what are you taking away from this? Uh, what are you taking away from, from CD of 2014? Really, uh, a lot of the uh, hardware that's coming out for the year and kind of aligning ourselves so we know what to pick and choose. Now, our market is more of a higher end market, which is a very, very niche, you know, small net group. So finding those products now and aligning ourselves is vital to, you know, kind of push us for the rest of the year so that we make sure that we're mastering in the things that we need. Okay. Uh, Mr. Greenblatt, what are, you, what are you taking away from this, from this show? Uh, I, I certainly think the iPad is here to stay. <laughs> Everybody's oh. got the iPad all over the place, so th there's uh, there's no doubt about that. And, uh, and uh, you know, I think that's a good thing. But uh, um, the other thing that I saw a lot about is, is uh, refinements to products, making them just a little bit better, j just a little bit more tactile, and still evolving that user experience, which is stuff that we talked about a bit at Infocom. Okay. Uh, real quickly, as we as we wrap up, and we'll start with you, Becky. Um, if someone's never gone to Cedia, and then they are a residential dealer, or or maybe even uh, a residential um, manufacturer, why should they come? Well, I think that this is a great opportunity for getting um, an immersive experience of everything you need to see. So, I mean, there's representation from every aspect of the industry here. So, um, not only that, but really fantastic education here as well. So, it's just you not only are getting kind of the, the 
the skill set that you need through education, but also just having those conversations and you know being able to talk to manufacturers, especially about the things that you're looking for. I mean, that helps us kind of uh, turn around and give you know our customers products that they need. So just having those interactions too, it's just it's kind of like a one-stop shop for and should keep you going for the whole year. You know. All right, that makes sense, Steve. Why should people come to CDA if they've never been before? I, I think it, it kind of completes the picture. So you know, you, if you're only in one part of the industry, you're really not seeing what's going on elsewhere. And as I think we've talked about too, the people that are using it in the boardroom are going to be using it at home. And we need to be able to, to cross, cross that divide. Yeah. So I, I think CD is a good complement to the commercial side. And, and I think that there, a lot of what's gained and, and you know, certainly the relationship building yeah, is it, it, continued through and, uh, and is consist consistent. Uh, across all the shows. All right, uh, Mike, you'll have the last word on this. Yeah, well, uh, when you see things like ping, you know, products like that, you can start seeing where as a dealer coming here, you know, and even someone that doesn't know programming in depth or something, and you can pick a product like that, where else are you going to see that in an actual install, in a live setting, but at Cedia? You know, you wouldn't see that. You would see uh, an advertisement saying ping, and, but what is it? What is it? I want to see it. I've seen that for the last month. I've wondered what it is. I, 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 <laughs> I thought myself, but after, if you haven't seen Crestron and you haven't seen the booth and you see how easy and how beautiful it is, how would you get that appreciated? How would you understand that without having a moment like CD? Very, you know what? They should hire him. <laughs> <laughs> Very well spoken. And, and the beer comes out at 11, too, usually. It's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's technically, when it's be said, it's 1.30 Mountain Time. I still don't have I a... I brought you a you, pop. You, you, uh, that's, <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> Becky Bill Real, thank you so much, ma'am. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it. Uh, Mike, appreciate you coming by. As well, thank you very much. And brother, I appreciate you, Mr. Steve. Absolutely. All right. Uh, we'll get, let you guys go and, and, and get in the next victims, I guess. Uh, <laughs> while, while we get our, our, next, our next folks on, um, uh, one thing I wanted to talk about, actually, was, which we didn't talk about with Crestron, which they're going to come on here next, yeah, um, was Pinpoint. And Pinpoint was interesting because it's a USB device that allows you to, uh, basically, it, it, it's only for apps right now, uh, for app uh, control systems, because it's, it's Bluetooth, right? And here comes the guy that de developed uh, Pinpoint, not really. Um, it, it allows you to, um, <laughs> are you tired? Yes. All right. Uh, it allows you to uh, give feedback to the to the apps, and it lets you know where you are in in the room. So, um, it will tell you, hey, you know, you're in the living room, you're in the kitchen, you're in the bathroom, with your 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 uh, tablet. I'm not sure why you'd be in the bathroom controlling something, but who doesn't? I don't know. <laughs> All right, with us is Ted Green from Strategy.com. How are you, brother? I'm doing great. Get, the, get that a little bit more up closer to there. We go. Okay, Thank you. All right, yeah. I'm here well, somewhere. You know. You know what? You, you can't teach these these no. these no. bloggers and these writers anything, can you? <laughs> uh, also, with this is, is is my brother, Mr. Kevin Iselli. How are you, sir? I'm well. How about you? Good. You tired? I could use a new spine. Yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, and also is Todd Puma. How are you, sir? I'm doing well. Tim. Good. He's he's from the Source Film Theater. We'll, we'll we'll start with you on this. Uh, you're the only integrator at this table. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> what what do you think of, of CD 2014? What what have you gotten out of this? I, I I've been at CD for three years now. Okay. Uh, it seems like every year it's been changing a little bit. Uh, this year, a lot of attendance went up, and I feel like technology has gotten better. It's more exciting this year around. Um, I know I've been talking about it over and over and over again, but the pink solution from Crestron it is just, it's amazing. It's, it's opened a lot of doors and opportunities in my mind for when I come back, what we're going to offer. All right, uh, Mr. Ted Green, you are the, uh, the professional writer at this group. Uh, <laughs> I'm not a professional. Um, what? Uh, no, not at all. Uh, what have you? What are you taking away? What are your big stories out of here? Well, I wrote a post that uh, already from the floor where I said there's a lot of stories, not a lot of big stories. Okay. Um, I have to say, despite the fact that we have a Crestron person here, I really like the the ping story. I think it's a very interesting, uh, you know, and an indicator of a yeah indicator of a trend. Don't want to suck up to anybody, but uh, I actually like that story. New series of speakers to Speakercraft, the AIM Series 2, Dynamite, three new major technologies employed. They've uh, done a real nice job with that, so uh, I like that. Um, up and comer, I'm going to give to Spring Deck. I, I like Spring Deck. Deck. I, I do like Spring Deck up a lot. Up and comer, yeah. uh, I did an article about them uh, a couple of weeks ago, and uh, their booth's been packed, and uh, 
you know, they're uh, they're doing a great job. They're uh, it's, a, it's those, a great oh. simple concept that's uh, extremely powerful. It's a resource center where they store all of the available media from manufacturers that is available to the dealers so they can easily access all of the media and all the content and everything they need to, to pitch in a consistent way. Uh, it's a very powerful concept, very good. Um, let me see what else. Uh, well, let me let me kind of uh, pick your brain on this one. Yeah. You and I were both at the Origin Acoustics uh, press conference oh, on, yeah. on Wednesday. Yeah. How big of a story is that? I mean, besides the fact that, that Burkhart has rejoined the AV community, uh, right. After what did he say? Uh, scuba diving out off of Bali, <laughs> right. uh, poor guy. Um, <laughs> wow, it's a tough life. Uh, f first of all, can can we all get that image in our head? That the man that has you know the, the Grizzly Adams beard, <laughs> scuba diving <laughs> off of the coast of Bali. Um, yeah, I saw something like that last <laughs> night, but never mind. Um, <laughs> how big of a story is that, Ted? Well, it's a big story because of who he is and because he was such a a factor and a force in the early days of speaker craft. Um, you know, uh, it's a very marketing driven, they're very good at, uh, you know, uh, building the buzz and uh, creating a lot of excitement. Um, it's a competitive line. For these guys, you know, their bread and butter is their speaker, their in-wall insulin speakers, the yeah. in is their bread and butter. So it's a critical category. Um, and, uh, you know, he's doing it, uh, you know, he's being very aggressive and going at it hard. Well, the one, the one thing I, I will, I will uh, pick on you for, um, DM is better than ping, so that should be a bigger story for you. D <laughs> oh, okay, all right. That was for my buddy Justin. Uh, I so see, I see. or else. Or else. <laughs> and, okay, and then. He is bigger than I am, so. <laughs> uh, you know, Justin's a good. Uh, really it's just good. an honor to be nominated. Exactly, <laughs> it is. Um, uh, so no, in, in, all, in all seriousness, um, it, I, I got the sen sense that th this guy's a really great marketer, yep. right? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, Burkhart's yeah, a really great marketer. They had an interesting position, and I, I, I shared this with you yesterday. Yep. They are the, this is their, their words, not mine, the origins of all, speak of, of all residential speakers is, is the team that makes up Origin Acoustics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you buy that? Uh, well, you know, these are the hyperbole kings so uh, you know, I think that there is uh, uh, there is some uh, people who would probably uh, disagree with that assessment. I'm certain. I'm certain. And I've I've heard from a few at this show because I actually wrote a, a post about this and yeah. uh, and I kind of questioned some of those elements. And I've heard from some other players at this show who, uh, uh, that said that uh, with a little digging, we could probably. Uh, you know, uncover some interesting facts about some of those claims. So uh, I'm sure Tesla had in in, in wall speakers. So uh, <laughs> sorry, uh, Mr. Iselli. They were just too loud. They, well, they were too <laughs> loud, uh, and they, they they ran off of wireless electricity. Yes. <laughs> so uh, how was your show? From from uh, your personal standpoint and, and Crestron standpoint. And good. I, I I wasn't able to be here last year. Uh, the year before, of course, we were in Indy, and yeah, I'll, I'll mimic the uh, the comment. It was uh, attendance seems to be up. Um, you know what little technology I've been able to see on my way to the restroom, which yeah, quite quite a long walk, yeah. uh, apparently. <laughs> um, so you get to see a little bit. Yeah. yeah I, I'm happy to see LG's got their OLEDs here. I, I, I mean, saw that. Yeah. And and Sony has it, has their OLEDs without the giant guards in front of them th this time. Yeah, those guys. <laughs> uh, they were cute, right? They were um, cute, yes. No, um, it it seems attendance up. Uh, traffic seems to be good. Um, you know, we've, we've, uh, we've I've, I've been quite busy. Like I said, I need a new spine. But uh, uh, but yeah, it's been it's been a very positive. Uh yeah, if I could jump in real quick, I've yeah. been to every Cedia, and and you know, Cedia in 2008 went through kind of a serious retrenching as the industry and the market did, and the industry did. This show probably is the first one where I felt not only a better attendance, but a little more energy, a little more positivity. Um, and I, you know, Justin's here. Yeah, yeah, Justin's here. That's that's why it's all flowing from Justin. Oh. Yeah, uh, he's, he's got he's another. Oh boy, more. what is it yeah. with these cards? I can't say that. <laughs> no. <So>. What? <laughs> why, why you do me like that? Man? <laughs> I can't say that. This is a family show. I have a rating to keep up. All Holy right. Um, what? <laughs> the thing I developed for this guy. Yeah, you do. You do actually. Uh, Todd, uh, real quickly as as we go around the corner here, what are you going to take away from this year's uh, CDA Expo? Well. I came here with a uh, One Direction is to learn. Don't you can't use that phrase. <laughs> what? One Direction you cannot one, use. Oh, it. sorry. I came <laughs> That's here like saying I beavered here. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I came here to watch on One Direction. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I came here for one reason is to learn. Okay. And to find products that we could put into our systems 
that are different than we're currently using. Uh, networking was uh, one basic category I wanted to uh, research a little bit more. I wanted to uh, sit over a package and see what new products they're having. Um, D-Tools was a surprising uh, experience for me. I've been working with D-Tools for a long period of time and uh, I'm starting to realize that documentation is everything yeah, at this is. point, uh, especially working the, with Crestron. You know, the more information you have, the better it is for our programmers, for our installers, and for the architects, designers that are on the project. Um, so we're going to be going back immediately and uh, using more of the AutoCAD program to make uh, things a little bit more user-friendly for everyone, yeah. <laughs> in a uh -huh. sense. Um, another thing is, you know, with Crestron, is the 4K category. Uh, last year, we wouldn't even touch it, but now it seems like there's more content that's coming out. You know, Netflix is offering more content. Uh, yeah. you just, have wait, just wait till 8K. You have no choice. He and I have been, Mr. Iselli and I have been arguing about 4K for a year or two now. At least. At least. And he's been screaming content, and I've been saying, you know. We got content. We got content. We're content. Netflix. Yeah. Now YouTube, you can download 4K. Yeah, the cute puppy race. Exactly. <sighs> You can't Direct get TV any says they're gonna they're gonna stream in 4K. Sure they do. I like to see them do 1080p <laughs> first. Yeah, that no would be what? awesome. All right. Yeah. Ted, wait a minute, wait Ted, a minute, what Todd. Let me ask you. Yeah. What about Dolby Atmos? Did I haven't got the chance to get over to that. Uh, since working with residential systems, my category is home automation. Right. So I've been kind of focusing on uh, getting stories out about Savant and you know gotcha. restaurant and multiple different home. Are they doing companies. HDR though? What's that? Are they doing the HDR demo? They are doing a demo here. I don't know if it's the HDR demo, but they are doing a demo here. Yeah, I go see it's that. It's a pretty right? impressive demo. Uh, they, you know, they did a big outreach to the show. They've got not only do they have a demo going on in a, a more controlled environment, the Dolby booth, but they also have 11 manufacturers that are also doing demos. So they're making a big push here. Um, so Atmos is big here. 4K is big here. Some trends with the amplification, the controls going on here. You and I talked a little bit about yeah. that yesterday as well. So there are some there, are, you know, there are some uh, interesting trends going on here. But for me, the big takeaway is just uh, it's been a bit of a fresh uh, blow, uh, you know, a, a bit of fresh air blowing through the uh, the show because it's uh, been declining for the last four or five years. So uh, I think they're going to show good numbers from this, and you know, more importantly, it just uh, it it just feels like it's got a little more energy this year. I agree with that 100. Okay, yeah. Mr. Isella, you'll have the last word on this. What do you what, what do you was take the question? <laughs> How much wood could it differ? Uh, what, what are you taking away from, from this besides the need for a I was going to say, I probably, uh, besides spine surgery um, and some images from the pool last night that I can never get out of my head. Uh, no, I think. I'm um, sorry about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who knew, right? <laughs> you ask a guy for a light. Um, oh, my. No, I, th I think one of the, the rises is definitely, yeah, it seems like there's much more uh, energy and. Uh, excitement uh, building. Um, I, I think that's de definitely a key for especially the residential market. I mean, we were both at Infocom as well. Yeah. Um, I think the key there was that uh, we would like to congratulate, of course, our young uh, person in AV, Justin. Yes, Kennedy. our young. Yeah. Right, right. Yes. It's just an honor to be nominated. Yeah. But th I think here uh, that that excitement for technology and reaching into new in, uh, new ventures of technology and, and distribution and, and getting content and getting seeing more of the 4Ks. Like I said, I was happy to see that when I walked by LG that they had all the OLEDs out there, which <laughs> yes, I want that. I want uh, that. So, yeah, imagery is much better. Uh, we're seeing more product availability. Uh, of course, we, we hit with Ping and, and all of our new uh, handheld remotes and the TSW lines. Uh, which of course we you know we, we talked about this with them being uh, voice recognition mm -hmm. yeah uh, and so definitely right. again I think uh, fu future development is this is just the start right it, it, we we say this every year but hey, it's just getting better and better so can, can I just add one thing yes, real quick. quick they have kind of a cool demo in the Crestron yeah. booth where they have a. Uh, they've kind of uh, done a mini version of their uh, DM testing lab, yes. and they show you how they test, and they've got some, and it's, uh, you know, if anybody's listening to this that's at the show, I, I recommend they go check it out. It's it's educational, but it's it's fun, it's interesting, some heavy-duty test gear over there, it's kind of neat to see it work. Yeah, that, that I have two of those in my in my house. No, ah. you don't. Yeah. <laughs> Well, then you know all about <laughs> it. I'd be <laughs> homeless. <laughs> the, those are the 300,000, 350,000. Yeah, we have yeah. Uh, Agilent, uh, or actually Keysight loaned us uh, for, since they were in the area. Um, that way we didn't have to ship ours here. Yeah. They loaned us the uh, Agilent, the 35 gigs. So, you know, you're, you're about 300K for the meter, which is why we have the rope. 
in front. I uh, don't blame you. I and, almost, and you have, I, you yeah, have I, the strap I, on. I got my it. strap on. Sorry, I have my <laughs> tether. <laughs> he has his <laughs> electrical <laughs> dispersion. My ESD yes. strap. Oh, it's right. that kind of yes. show. Yes. <laughs> All right. Well, gentlemen, thank you so much, Ted Green. Thanks, my pleasure. Right. It's fun I to be here. Thank you so much, my friend. And Kevin Iselli. As these guys rotate through, if I can turn down the right one. Uh, we've got Mark uh, <laughs> Feinberg. Uh, also, uh, how are you doing, sir? Uh, <laughs> we've got uh, a guy that I met on Twitter who is a huge, as big as a, <laughs> as big as a bear fan as I am. Uh, and we've got somebody from Cedia. Thank you, sir. We have somebody from Cedia coming on here in a second. Um, so we'll start with Mark and, uh, and with Rob. Sean. Sean. It would help if I actually got these names correctly. How are you, sir? I'm doing well. How are you today? Good. How was your Sunday last Sunday? Uh, it was not too bad, not but uh, the overtime was just a little bit too much for me. Yeah, we yeah. We should have won in them. We should have won, dude. This guy's a huge Bears fan. It's uh, tough uh, season. Yeah, <laughs> it, yeah, already tough <laughs> yeah. season. You lose to the Bills, and, you know, you pretty much, you know, um, uh, the uh, – you know, okay. Uh, we lose just you lose to the Bills, and you pretty much pack it up. So, uh, Mark, um, you have you came here with with Todd Puma. Yes. Um, what are you taking away from the show? Um, it feels like the show is doing. I think Todd has written about it a little bit already. A little bit of a I've seen a lot of high low from the um, control companies, especially, um, and, and everyone's really trying to get to that point where things are much easier to install. You've got Lutron Caseta, you've got Ping, you've got. I haven't seen what Savant's doing, but I've heard they're trying to do something similar as well as Control 4. Yeah. That's really what I've been seeing the most of. Um, nothing else has really blown me away. Uh, it's really been about the control, the automation systems, I think, has been okay. my biggest takeaway. Is that because that's kind of your brain, or is that just that's what's, what's really... I think it's also what I came here looking for okay. as well, right? I'm, I've, I've been a URC complete control guy for a number of years, and now I'm kind of looking for my next step. And I think that's, I've been focused on, on automation as well, so maybe that's part of it. That makes sense. That makes sense. Sean, you guys are our new company. Uh, new, new, you're in, you're in uh, Rookie Row uh, here at Cedia. Uh, first of all, do me a favor. Pronounce the name of your company. It's Chewy. Chewy. Okay. C-H-U-I. Um, the thing that's interesting about Chewy, actually, I talked to my wife about this already. I said, this would be great for like when our kids start, you know, if, if they ever have to come home or uh, and, and nobody's there or you want to start automating and stuff like that. Explain to folks what exactly Chewy does. Sure. So our intention is to really be the first point of contact to your connected home and then through it on to your connected life. And we're using biometrics, specifically facial recognition paired with our proprietary technology to enable your, it's essentially social intelligence within your home. Your home is intelligent enough to recognize who's visiting, if it's you, unlock the door, disarm the alarm, turn the lights on. So things of that nature to where the existing technologies we see are all kind of user adoption, not so friendly. Uh, they require you to have a certain iPhone or an Android phone, um, you know, fobs, keys, whatever it may be. Well, with Chewy, all you have to do is walk up and you know, let our technology take care of the rest. All right. So uh, without getting into too, too much proprietary stuff, how does it do it? I mean, you, you walk up, it notices that you know, it, it's Tim, it unlocks the door, it does all, all, all that stuff. Right. How does that then interact with your other devices? Because that's, I mean, che Chewy is the, is the one piece, but you guys also talk to other things. Right, we, you know, we can pair with internet connected locks, uh, internet connected lighting systems, alarm systems. So it's just a communication that happens, you know, if this, then that. Okay. Uh, so if Sean comes over, disarm the alarm. If Tim comes over, turn the lights on. Uh, you know, bringing it back to what you said about your kids coming home, you could also have greetings for them if they come home past 1 a.m., you know, hey, you're grounded. Uh, so <laughs> <laughs> you don't even need to deal with that That is that awesome. Mess. <laughs> that is so you can just auto, auto make grounding. There you go. Wow. <laughs> That's pretty good. There you go, Mark. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Okay, so besides, this is your guys' first showing, obviously. It is. What, do you, what, what, what has been your experience um, as a manufacturer, as someone walking around the show floor? Sure, so I think that, you know, we've been seeing in the news all these new connected devices and how people are integrating them, and to really be able to conceptualize others' vision of what IoT will become in the future is helpful for us to help grow our business and how we see us growing into these integrations. Uh, you know, so around here, we're seeing a lot of people trying to take over the hub of the home. Uh, to be that control, you know, that really point of focus for everyone's device to talk to. And that's something that we're really interested in because as we see things progress, there's going to be a universal, you know, communication tool there. And so for us to be able to get involved with that on an early, you know, kind of the early framework, we can help build out our technology to be incorporated with that. Have you had any conversations with people here on the show floor? Oh, we have had a couple. Uh, you know, they're just very pr preliminary, and so we'll see where those <laughs> where those go. All um, right. you know, hoping for the best on those. Okay, very good. Uh, Mark, what are, you, what are you taking away? 
Um, from the show, I'm taking away, it's, it, everyone's trying to make things easier for the installer, They're trying to make things easier to integrate, um, you know, easier to install, new, uh, everyone's making their, their architectural speakers with better clamps to get into the wall, things like that. They're trying to speed up everything from the integration to putting a speaker in the wall to installing a door lock, which I think is, is great and making our jobs easier, less, uh, less likely to have problems, hopefully less <laughs> likely to have to come back. Uh, and, I, and, and you know, it's everything, the Internet of Things is everywhere here. It's, it's, it's all about uh, the networking, everything together, the cloud, making sure it's all interoperable and being able to service it remotely. And I think that's been, that's you know, it's where it's been going for a couple of years and it's really coming home this year, I think. Take, take me through the, the Internet of Things and I'll, I'll hit you up on this one too. Uh, because that, you know, Chewy is, is, is definitely a product in that category. Is that a good thing or a bad thing for, for residential? Um, I, I think what's going to happen a lot in the residential is you, it's making the integrator be a, a network engineer as well. And if you don't have a strong networking background or networking team behind you, it's going to be challenging because something's going to go wrong and the client's going to need somebody <laughs> to yeah. call. Um, but I think it's a good thing for the client because it's going to make it's going to make their lives easier. You walk into a room and the lights turn on for you because they know and they put it on to Mark walks in if I have Chewy and ESPN turns on as opposed to you know DIY uh, not DIY but HGTV channel for my wife. Yeah, it may, you know, that type of automation for a client is going to be fantastic. You know, I think that that's the it's the Star Trek to them and they really <laughs> want to see that. I mean, that's really it's, it's a really it's a showstopper for them. Yeah. I think. All right, Sean, what, what is is the Internet of Things a good thing? for the residential market. I absolutely think it is. And uh, to kind of touch on your point too, it's it's in our eyes a little bit more past Star Trek, but <laughs> a minority report style. There you go. That's but, a you know, one. But, yeah. <laughs> but a value add, because if you can start to automate these things in your life at home where you want to be safe and secure and you have that security and convenience, this will, you know, it's a natural progression into where you work, where you go to the gym, where you eat, where you shop. And so we think that if, if there's an ecosystem at the home with IoT, and it's as easy as walking up and just being yourself or gesturing, that will provide extra value to your life. Right, very good. How can people, if, if it, I should have asked you this earlier, sure. uh, do you sell Chewy directly through distributor? Uh, what, how do you do that? Right now we're selling directly at getchewy.com, okay. and that's our pre-order site, so we're still taking pre-order sales uh, at 199, and then for retail it'll be 249. Okay, very good, 199 to 299. So that's very just good. the form factor of it. And very, very cool. Chewy. All right, so thank you so much. Yeah, thank I'm Mark, you. Mark, and how can people find out more about you? Uh, HomeTheaterAdvisors.com is our website, and um, you can always reach out to us through that. And uh, you know, we're an integrator in the New York area, and I guess that's All the best right, way to find good. us. All right, guys, thanks so much. Thank Appreciate you so much. Uh -huh. Take care. All right. Go uh, Bears. Go Bears. Go Bears. Oh, go man. <laughs> oh, don't. What? You didn't tell me he was a Patriot fan. I would have totally nixed that one. Good night. Anybody but the Patriots. So, all right. Uh, last but not least, uh, our host uh, for this for this uh, for this event here, uh, Mr. Larry uh, Pexton, Chairman of Cedia. How are you, sir? Just fine. Thank you for hosting us here in your in your very nice booth. It's a pleasure. All right. Uh, how is your? Uh, first of all, um, when someone talks to you about Cedia, just the the organization. Um, why should you know a, a, a residential um, integrator join the organization CDA before you even come to the show? Uh, so many reasons I don't know where to start, but it's where. G give me three. How about that? It's where the industry gets together to exchange information. I was a, a founding member, and I can't separate Triad Speaker's success from CDA's success. Yeah. We've helped create a market together. So this is a unique market. It's known as the CDA Marketplace. And you just need to be involved to understand what's fully going on. How important is that, that exchange of information? It, it's absolutely critical. It's, it's what we do is the most important thing that anybody can get out of this show. There's lots of new trends and new exciting things that are only to be experienced here. What's your favorite part about the, the Acidia Expo? My personal favorite part is seeing all of the friends I've had for the last 25, 25 years, years yeah. and reconnecting with them. But there's a lot of new technologies here, in particular Dolby Atmos, that are exciting the whole community. There are many different manufacturers involved, but I think it will stimulate a new 
area of home theater excitement, which we will all enjoy. Is that because there are so many manufacturers involved that you could virtually get this in, in, in diff several different platforms? Well, that always creates to a, a richer, more vibrant uh, environment. Um, there's so many competent manufacturers. Involved. There we go. <laughs> and, and that's a pleasure. Yeah. I mean, the industry is really getting together, both both Dolby Atmos and, and Oro 3D. But the sense of emotional involvement in movies, sports, theatrical presentations of, of all sorts is just enhanced so much that it will give people a new reason to spend time in their home entertainment systems. Yeah, absolutely. What, um, if, if someone is not here this year, um, let's say that they 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 forgot about CD or, or you know uh, <laughs> scheduled something uh, you know uh, it, it means we've done a bad job. Well, that, that's you know, not that's a really bad job, but you know they they you know yes. they, they messed up. Why why should they come next year? All the same reasons they should have come this, this year, year. <laughs> to, to see to see what new is coming and to exchange information with their peers and with their customers and with their vendors. You, you learn so much face-to-face. -face. You know, this thing actually doesn't work exactly like that. Uh, this is how it works. And you learn things that aren't even written down anywhere that, that are very useful. And how do I solve this problem that a dealer friend probably has figured out the answer to somewhere, and you just have to find it. Yeah. And we try to provide the connection for those relationships. Very good. Well, Larry Pexton, chairman of CD, I appreciate it, sir. And again, thank you for, for hosting us here in, in your wonderful booth. You're very welcome. I appreciate it. You have a good, you have a good, good rest of the show. Thanks. Thank you. All right, guys, that will, uh, that will do us uh, for, for this uh, uh, episode of, of AV Week. Thank you to everybody that, uh, that stopped by the booth and stopped by to, to share uh, their, their experiences here at Cedia Expo 2014. Uh, for more information about AV Nation, go to avnation.tv. avnation.tv, you'll find this program and a host of others. Don't forget, we have a special section on the website uh, on avnation.tv uh, dedicated to Cedia 2014. So check that out if you would, please. Also, uh, we're getting more and more bloggers and, and just other, uh, other shows as well. We have our, our EdTech show, our State of Control, um, Live Life, and a host of others. So avnation.tv, avnation.tv. Thanks so much for listening. Thanks so much for watching. This has been AV Week. The network for the AV industry. What are you listening to? This. This is AV. This. This. This is, is AV, AV Nation. Nation. This is AV Nation.